Very happy to be joined by a key part of this Canada team going to the World Cup in Qatar. Jonathan Sorio, welcome to the show, man. Hi, thanks for having me, guys. I, I really appreciate it. What an amazing day. Yeah, I don't know if you can put it into words for us, but I mean, I saw you on the drum. Um, you're beating about as slow as you possibly could. I think you're trying to soak it all in as long as you possibly yeah. could. Um, you know, you're at home. You played your entire career in, a, yeah. in an MLS team from Toronto. It's, it's, and you qualify in the World Cup like you've done so spectacularly. Can you possibly put that into words, though, so? It's impossible. Impossible to, to explain what I'm feeling and, and, and what we're feeling, what the team is feeling. Uh, after achieving this goal, um, it's incredible. It's, it's, it's honestly incredible, this whole journey. Um, you know, this was something, you know, John came to us, uh, I think his first camp as, a, as, the, as the manager was in Murcia, Spain. And um, he actually showed us, we were showing the video actually, um, uh, not too long ago of him basically saying, I'm here to bring this team to Qatar. And that was, that's when he first joined, that's his first camp. So it's actually just crazy to see how everything has come to fruition, uh, how a man with a plan has come in and, and just, you know, has, has done so much. And, and then for the players, you know, to, to, to believe uh, in, in his vision and in, in each other, um, it's, it's been an incredible ride. John Herbin's been very open about the goals that this team had, not just qualifying and punching their ticket to Qatar, but winning this CONCACAF group. Um, you didn't get the job done in Costa Rica. So what was it like those two days leading up to Toronto, knowing that you could have that clinching moment and the big celebration party that you had in your hometown? Yeah, actually, you know, right after the game, we were actually pretty, uh, we were pleased with the performance side of the game. Obviously, we didn't get the result. And and we wanted to to finish business right there and then, but I think actually that that we learned a lot from that result, and and it, and it made us better. It made us better in the way we perform with ten men in a, in a tough environment uh, against a team that's that's hot right now, actually. So um, no, after that, you know, we we turned our minds straight to this game, and it was just pure excitement. Uh, you know, it was kind of we looked at it as destiny. Really, it, it was destiny that we. Uh, should should clinch at home and, and not in that game in Costa Rica. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty quick turnaround, and we were just excited to get in front of our uh, home fans and get the job done. You know, we've talked a lot about iconic moments, and there's been so many of them right across this uh, qualifying campaign. And, you know, you obviously Alfonso's goal against Panama with the pace and the steal down the, the touchline. But for me, it was... Because I played at Aztec and I've been slaughtered there a few times. Um, it was you scoring there and getting a draw and putting Mexico on, the, on their heels that I've never seen before. It was a beautifully well-taken goal um, at that stadium that is home for game of the century, goal of the century, hand of God. Pele lifted a World Cup there. Maradona lifted a uh, World Cup there. How was that emotionally for you? Because that is just incredible to me. It's it's yeah, thank thank you, Craig. I, I really appreciate the 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 words there. And and honestly, for me, like it, it's incredible to think about. I, I honestly, try not to, you know, for me personally, you know, you, you try to look at the, the the everything that's happened as a team. And you know, this is a team sport, and you enjoy that stuff. But I'm lucky to enough. I've had a, a a moment, a moment to to help this team, and and it happened to be. Like you said, at one of the most, uh, the biggest known stadiums in, in the world, um, home to Maradona, uh, goal of the century, we listen to the World Cup and all of that. And, and somewhere where we've had trouble, you know, where, where a lot of teams have had trouble, not only Canada, but a lot of teams have trouble going there and, and getting even a point or, or playing the way we did. So the goal, honestly, is something I'm going to remember forever. And I, I hope, I think, I, I, it's one of those moments that maybe a lot of people will remember uh, uh, for, for on this journey. So, I tell you, I texted you, I texted you just prior to the Jamaica game, and I said that if you score, I may end up streaking on the pitch. And you said that that is enough incentive for me. 
I'm glad you didn't <laughs> score. You probably did it on purpose because oh, nobody wanted to see that. I am pasty white and <laughs> not great naked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had that one chance. I hit it. I hit it good, but he blocked it. I said, oh, you there did. goes my chance. <laughs> it felt like destiny. I had a reaction that was next to our producer, and I had a reaction, too, that it felt like destiny that moment. Uh, but, I mean, scoring as a tech, at Azteca is such a big moment, um, you know, just further cementing you as a legend. And seeing all the legends that were there to celebrate um, Canada clinching and, and qualify for Qatar, you know, what was that like for you to be around guys? Obviously, you're still playing with Atiba, who is a Canadian legend, but uh, Dwayne De Rosario was there, so many guys before. And then there's kids in the stands with your number on the back of their shirt, watching you as a, a club and national legend now. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Uh, honestly, a great moment to see the legends there. And, and I mean, I told them, I think I told it to in Hume, I said, hey, man, this is this is as much your moment as it is ours because everything that you've put into the program, you know, obviously uh, we, we appreciate that. Canada appreciates it and we, we muscle that appreciation. And so I was glad that, you know, uh, the guys, you know, got to got to be there, you know, the D-Roll, uh, the Guzman, uh, oh, Terry, Hume, Paul Fenwick, uh, of course, of course, Greg. Craig and and uh, don't forget I'm, me. I'm buddy. missing a couple. I'm, 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 <laughs> I can never, you're missing. I can a, you're missing. I'm saving you for last. I know. I'll oh, thanks, buddy. For the last. But, there was uh, a lot, you know, there was a lot of guys there. And you know what? Paul they Dolan, weren't there. Yeah, yeah. They weren't on the field. And a lot of them were up in the stands. And that's fine, too. I wish they had all yeah. been able to come and join as well. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, it wasn't to be on that day. But there's so many guys that were there and in support. Yeah. And you know the deal. We, we live and breathe this game. And, you, yes. know, you know, we didn't make the World Cup. And we still fought for it. And to see you guys do it is, is just as pleasing as it would be if I had done it myself. Honestly, it's just been absolutely a treat. It's yeah, amazing. And that, that's what it's about, really. That's it. It's about, it. you know, the whole country, we're all, we're all winners. You know, we're all going to Qatar. We're all, we're all in this together. Everybody uh, is a part of this. And if you support football and, and you're Canadian, then, you know, it's, it's, it's good to be you this morning. It's good yeah. to be you. Well, we know the team's got one more trip. We've got to go to Panama to close out this qualification round. But the country's looking ahead to this World Cup draw on Friday. We got a, a viewer question: Which team would you most like to face at the World Cup? I know you got Colombian roots. Uh, they're battling to, yeah. to get there, make sure they punch their ticket. You played in Uruguay. Steven Estacio said he'd yeah. like to draw Portugal. So who do you want to see? Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> crazy. I, I would like to see. Uh, I would like to play Argentina just to, just to see it in the flesh, just to see the man himself. I, I, I would really like to see it. or Portugal, to be honest, one one of the two. Um, just to say that I sh I share the field and, and, and I played against those two and, and to see them in the flesh because I think seeing them on TV is one thing, but actually feeling feeling them in the game is another. So I think. Yeah, how, about, how about this? How about this? Oh, so you, you, you face Argentina in the last eight. I'll take that. I don't want to see I'll you face Argentina in the group stage. I want to see you feet against the, the, the weakest possible group we can get. Get through yeah. that knockout stage. That's that, that, <laughs> and then we can face whoever. Hey, we, we, we're, we're going to Qatar to make a statement. Uh, we're not going there just to celebrate that we're there. We're, we're going there to... to to really show the world who we are and, and, and how far this country has come in this sport. And, and yeah, that we're a football nation now. It's football is a football country now. And so uh, we'll be looking to get out of the, the group, no matter who's in it, no matter who's in it. Amen, Jonathan. Well, hey, congratulations. I know I speak for the whole country. Can't wait to watch you in Qatar. Congratulations on punching the ticket. Uh, thank you, guys. I really appreciate and continue, it. And continue to have a blast because i know you had a blast last night and you do you thanks for coming on with us because i know you're you might have a headache but you're running on adrenaline so <laughs> we we appreciate it because we couldn't have done this without you buddy thank you man no no it's it's my pleasure it's my pleasure the adrenaline is still still kicking so it's it's all good <laughs>